Ronnie and Ronnie Jr. right here. Ronnie. Okay, what is what is that? What those are ears. Those are ears. Can you hold those out for me? So I'll take these from you. After this gruesome discovery, it wouldn't be surprising if Parker was the detective's number one suspect. Mike. But before law enforcement can question him further, Parker makes a decision that makes him look even more guilty. Oh, Lace is an understatement. Do you fucking see this guy? Here, I'm a good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got most disturbing moments caught on police body cam. You know what I'm saying? It's brought to us by Cats and Killers. Shit. Here the fuck we go, man. Let's get some more to it, shall we? Holy. We got a body. Yeah. Alright, let's cover it. Yeah. Let me start now. Hey, hey, don't do that, buddy. Don't do that. Knock Sit back down. Hey. Oh, you crazy. Man. Oh, bad, he just threw that dude over the bridge. Oh, where's? We're serious here. Oh, these clips might be crazy. Hold on. When cops arrive on the scene, they never know what grisly images wait for them. What is that? Those are ears. Those are ears. Can you hold those out for me? But what happens when the discoveries shock like even those trained to see the unthinkable? In this video, we cover six gut-wrenching examples where cops walked in on the unimaginable. Okay, on September niggas. 25th, 2018, Officer Christopher Maurer just so happened to be driving over the Main Street Bridge in Daytona Beach, Florida, when he stumbled upon an unexpected scene. Maurer was still in his car when he saw 21-year-old Derek Godin throwing another man, 33-year-old Anthony Mascaro, off the bridge into the Halifax River. That's crazy, can you yo. When Mara gets out of his car to assess the scene, things take a disturbing turn. On the ground, right now! Get the fuck on the ground! On the fucking ground! X-ray 6, 7 Central! On the ground! I'm gonna sit down! Main Street Bridge, I just got a male throw another there. male over the bridge. I got one at gunpoint. Get on your belly right now! Get on your belly right now! Get on your belly right now! What the fuck is- Maher was still in his vehicle, and we can see the defendant throwing Mascaro face first over a bridge and into the water below. What did he just tell us? Upon witnessing this, Maher springs into action, leaping from the car and running towards Gooden, who remains standing on the bridge. The officer tells Gooden to get on the ground, but he continues to take steps away from the officer before removing an unidentified object from his pocket and tossing it off the bridge. Mm. Once the item is discarded, Gooden complies and gets down on the ground. Hey! Hey, get my witnesses! Hey, y'all my witnesses, right? Hey, sir. Now I want to tell me what's across the street, man. He's seen the whole thing. Central. You got me, sir. I ain't going nowhere. I, I got one ten twelve. The male in the water looks code four. He's swimming. I ain't oh, going nowhere, okay. sir. He assaulted my property. I felt threatened, sir. You just threw a mail over the bridge. He jumped over the bridge. Where's I watched bike? you. I'm right here. Where my bike at? Hey, hey, tell me, bro. Hey, explain this shit, dog. Gooden continues to shout for an unseen witness, claiming he felt threatened. Then goes as far as to say the man jumped from the bridge. The body cam footage, however, will tell a different story. He just threw that dude over the bridge, bro. No, I did not. I'm not even it's at on home, camera. Dog. Please, I want you. I want you to have no camera because he just assaulted me, dog. He ain't shit top. And then he when I came up, he had, he, he's gonna get charged with destruction of evidence too because he just threw a bunch of shit in the water. water as soon as I but what are you charging him with, dog? I'm charging you. He was assaulting me the whole time. I'm gonna charge you with attempted murder, motherfucker. They was assaulting me. You better ask that nigga. Hey, excuse me, sir. In front of me, why you not talking to one? Several other officers arrive on the scene, so Mayor informs them of the fact that Gooden threw the other man over the bridge. But Gooden continues to claim he didn't, saying he's not even that tall. Mayor says how he'll be charged with obstructing evidence because he threw something into the water before adding that he'll charge him with attempted murder. I threw my money over the river, man. Can you be here, question, please? I don't want to know that I had some weed in my. Oh my God. This is just melting. What? Destruction evidence. I destroyed no evidence. You threw evidence over the bridge. You said you threw weed over the bridge. When I said that. You just said it right now. I did. Yeah. 
I said, come on, money. Oh, this nigga's an idiot. I'm trying to get some weed. You go down there and check it. Go down there and check it. The money's still folded up. Ain't I got six dollars, dog. They don't f with me. Gundam is charged with aggravated battery, causing bodily Baby. harm, battery, and disorderly conduct. Some would say Gundam was lucky to escape an attempted murder charge. But what happens when cops make a chilling discovery in a car? Holy sh we got a body. Yeah. All right. On May 20th, 2022, Arona police pulled 29-year-old Julissa Thaler over after she was spotted uh -huh. driving on the rim of her car with her back window smashed out. Once the vehicle came to a stop, two officers approached from either side. There is no tire there. All right. There's what? Blood all over the car. I have a broken windshield and I'm missing a tire because some kids were shooting at my car. I had some. What looks like blood in there? And it's not blood, it's deer meat. I had a big bag of, and there's a farm around here that does deer meat and hamburgers. So. Shotgun shells all over the side. Yeah. Upon first look, the officers noticed shotgun shells and later reported seeing blood in the vehicle and on Taylor herself. When the you officer brought it to her so. attention, Thaler suggested that it was deer meat. So with hesitation and nothing to charge her with, the officer's chauffeur Early Thaler bitch. back to her apartment. After escorting her home, officers continued searching the vehicle and they made a horrifying discovery. Holy We got a body. Yeah. All right, let's cover it. Yeah. The body of Taylor's six-year-old son, Eli Hart, wrapped in a blanket in the trunk of the car. It had appeared that he'd been shot nine times in his head and torso while he was buckled into the car seat. The officers raced back to where they had just dropped Thaler off, but she had already left. Of it was course. later determined that she had left a washing machine running that was filled with the clothes she was just wearing, most likely get rid of evidence. Because her vehicle did not have a tire, officers were able to track Thaler's past movements and find mounds of incriminating evidence. This included his backpack and booster seat, which suffered damages due to the shotgun blast. Additionally, her laptop was seized. On it, there was evidence of web searches for how much blood can a six-year-old lose? And how much does life insurance pay for a dead child? The murder occurred just 10 days after Thaler received full custody over the child. Ellie's father, Oh my, yeah, let me hear this, hold on, hold on. To her heart pushed back against the renunciation of mother and child fearing Eli was in danger. Yo, this shit is so crazy. Are we dead ass? And then your own kid at that. This shit is not insane. And of course, the father lost the custody. I, I mean, I, I can't, you know, speak on the situation. I don't know the reasoning, but like, man, that, the females is just always, you know what I'm saying? Always in the right, always in the, you know what I'm saying? Always in their right mind, always the, the safest bet, safest choice. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna go too much, you know what I'm saying, further without information, but like, nah, this is fucking insane. Wow. Avila, dog. But it fell on deaf ears. A hearing was set for the following day for Hart to raise immediate concern to prevent the renunciation, but it was canceled, which may have just cost Eli his life. The right to speak this morning, if you'd like. You don't have any obligation to speak, but if you'd like to choose to speak, now is the time to do it. Yes, I would like to say something. Go ahead. Um, I'm innocent. You all, you're garbage. That's all you're. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> is, that a, <laughs> is that her fucking uh, the attorney? You're garbage. Oh, oh, she was like, oh, that was not what I told you to fucking say before we came in here. Oh, we're fucked. And that's literally that face. You all, you're garbage. Uh, ah, fuck, not quite what I asked you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, what the fuck, son? Ah, oh, hell nah, man. Miss Sawyer, I don't know that that's appropriate here. Um, Sorry, I told you what somebody else did. Taylor was charged with murder in the first and second degree and received life in prison without the possibility of parole. Hart currently wow. is in the process of suing the officials who handle Ailey's custody matter, which of lead course. to his brutal murder. These police Can't officers had to deal up. with a shocking scene in this That's case. But how does it compare to the time police found a suspect hiding his victim's severed ears in his pocket? What is that? 
Those are ears. Those are ears. Can you hold those out for me? On March 13th, 2021, Florida Dispatch received a bone-chilling 911 call from 30-year-old Colby Parker, claiming he was attacked by his 77-year-old grandfather, Ronald Wells Sr., and needed the police there immediately. All right, so go ahead. I like it, I like that board of entry. Now, oh, from the beginning, no, so, what exactly, what, what happened oh, first? Well, I just got done cooking some dinner for us, and the knife was on the table, and he just, like, smoked out at a... And how long ago did this happen? I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death. How long ago did this happen? Just happened. Okay. Like five minutes ago, or...? About, about three minutes ago. I'm so nervous right now. I just need y'all here, and I, I need, I need y'all here now uh, before I, I lose it. When officers arrived on the scene, Parker was standing over the brutally murdered body of his grandfather. According to Parker, his grandfather was smoking pot, and after three or four hits, he freaked out. Under his arm. Dog. I'm trying to figure I out what the uh, fuck smoke that means. Yeah, I didn't even know what it happened. I, I... Where's the? Did it? Where's the knife at? Who? Right here. The uh, pot smoking the pot, and as soon as back third or fourth hit, something like that, it just he just freaked out. Officers escort Parker away from the body and interrogate him. I'm sitting here smoking some uh, weed I got from right here down the road, and, and all I do is smoke weed. Right. I stopped. I've been clean for like three months now, two months now, something like that. I don't remember. And uh, I, I told myself I wasn't going to smoke weed, on. but my pop said it's cool as long as I stay away from all the other. You know what I mean? That's all I was smoking. The mother just had to put something in it. Made me feel weird, and then that sat at the table and I'm say no to drugs, kid. With a knife, with a knife right there, I had to defend myself. Parker recounts smoking weed that, according to him, had something in it when his grandfather yeah, lunged at him shit. with a knife. According to Parker, his crime was one of self-defense, and that despite his behavior, all he did was smoke weed. All right, so you sure you don't need EMS check out? You say you're feeling funny. You want him to at least check your vitals, make sure everything's okay? I don't want to not give you medical attention if you think something's wrong. Yes, I need medical attention. Okay. Yes, yeah. like okay. now. Okay. I'm done. Um, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come up this way. Use the view and just get a couple. Well, I'm going to him down real quick. Hey. Hey, don't do that, buddy. Don't do that. Nigga? Sit good. back down. Yo, stupid, this dumbass moving nasty. Like that, you get blasted bad. doing dumb shit like that. What the okay. fuck wrong with you? Oh, oh, can I see your gun, bro? No. Parker's behavior becomes erratic and unpredictable. He's banging on his chest violently and pacing back and forth with agitation. He even goes as far as asking the officer to see his gun. But Mike. things take a turn when Parker reaches into his pocket and pulls out something that will surely shock investigators. Yeah, wrap this guy the fuck up. There's a dog. It's right. aggressive. Other than that, I don't know where Junior is. I asked and he didn't know. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, what? Junior? Yeah, Ronnie right. and Ronnie Junior, right here. Ronnie? Okay, what is, what is that? What those are ears. Those are ears. Can you hold those out for me? Okay, so I'll take these from you. After this gruesome discovery, it wouldn't be surprising if Parker was the detective's number one suspect. Mike. But before law enforcement can question him further, Parker makes a decision that makes him look even more guilty. Hey! Oh. Get down! Taser! 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 Oh, Lace is an understatement. Do you fucking see this guy? 33 traffic, Lake. We're fighting him. I know he's not biting. Parker's charade escalates when he violently attacks an officer, trying to wrestle him to the ground and get his gun. The officers scream to tase him, but the taser does not make full contact with Parker, who they continue to fight. After the brutal attack, he is placed under arrest. He was brought to the station for further questioning. It was here that he admitted what he had done to his grandfather. Yeah, was he facing you right. or was he facing away when you hit him with a bat? A bat. So he saw it coming. 
So you hit him here, 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 here. Where'd you hit him in the back? Once or twice in the face and a third time back of the head, I think. So you swung with that more than once. Fucking psychopath. Yeah. Okay. So he goes down on the floor. He's laying there facing you. Then what do you do? That's when I finished it. Tell me what you did. Finished it. Well, and after, after I hit him with the bat, I had to pull the knife and I got him four or five times in the chest, in the throat, and I got his ears. You cut his ears off? Oh, light, man. Why? I don't know. You have to have an idea. Yeah, don't who, worry. Who the hell does that? <laughs> it was a spur of the moment. A trophy? Did you That's you play that is funny. Why are you smiling? I don't think it's freaking I'm funny for a minute. I'm smiling. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Probably my heart. Something told me it needed to be done. Parker was charged with second degree murder and assaulting an officer. He is now serving 50 years in jail. Second. This was a terrifying and brutal murder scene for the officers. Well, but guess. what happens when officers have to deal with a kidnapper? Yeah, get this guy the fuck out of here. Kidnapping. On May 18, 2019, Fucking neighborhood surveillance captured Michael Webb, pushing a mother to the ground and kidnapping her eight-year-old daughter. Oh my gosh, yo. Local law enforcement was able to track Webb to a hotel room later that night. But when they went in looking for the yeah, missing girl, they were encountered with something out of a nightmare. Four police department, open the door! Mm. Open Get in dress! Open it now! Alright, I'm about to get mad. Alright, I'm already about to get mad. One of two things are gonna it. piss me off. Hands! Let me see your hands! Step out here! Step out! Hopefully not two. Step out! When police arrive on the scene, Webb tells them to hold on because he is getting dressed. So the officers are left with no choice but to break down the door to get inside. Hey, here she is. Got her. We got her. We got her. We got her. Yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. I got her. We have her. Or we need an EMT. Get get cold med star. Yes. No, no, no. Don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry about your clothes. We got a towel. We got a towel. Do we have it? Can we cover her up? Can we cover her up? Yeah. With something? Here, just Here you go, baby. Once inside Webb's room, the officers discover blood on the bed and a young girl hidden in a small laundry basket. And after investigators radio in that they have her, the girl is handed over to EMT to be examined. Meanwhile, Webb continues to be detained in the hallway. Come on, sweetheart. You're okay? You're safe? We got you. You're gonna be okay. We got her. Hold the door. Hey, back off, guys. Back off. Please, just back off. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's get her in here so she can sit down. The officers wrap the girl in a towel, reassuring her that she's okay, and finally carry her to freedom. Once she is out of the hotel, Webb is arrested. I scoped it out pretty good, and, and I know I missed somebody because when I pushed the woman and grabbed her, I heard somebody screaming. What did you say to scare her, Michael? <laughs> I told her that she said anything that I would do something to my parents and if I was in Over crying and shit, yo, this should be, yo, my eyes is damn near watering, yo, some shit just really be like, yo, some shit really be like, like, oh my gosh, like mentally, like, fucking a thousand degrees, like, man, I'm telling you, yo. Oh my gosh, son. Oh boy. Boy. You put me one on one in a room with one of these niggas, any of these niggas. I'm telling you, yo. It, that, that, it, that's a nasty scene. Man, these niggas be pissing me off. These niggas be getting me so mad it's not even, like. Hmm, man. Let's just finish this shit. Um, no, I'm fucking. Teed, son. Jail. I will have my friends to do it. Webb is currently serving a life sentence Clown. in prison for kidnapping. Fucking goofball. He was given the maximum sentence. This case may have a happy ending, but what happens when a case has no possibility? So we ain't gonna talk about what was done. 
like where the blood come from, like what, like what transpired in that fucking room. I actually, I, I don't want to hear it because it's, it's really gonna piss me the fuck off. So whatever. Uh, there's a girl uh, running down the street. She's like, what did the female say to you? And she says that her stepfather is killing everybody in her house. Stand up! Stand, Stand up! up! Stand up! On June 15, 2023, 32-year-old Chad Dorman was taking a nap in his bedroom when out of nowhere, he took out a rifle and shot his three sons, Clayton, Chase, and Hunter, in cold blood. After the brutal crime, he then laid his children's bodies out on the front step. Moments later, Dorman's wife called 911 to report that her children had been shot. Show us your Show fucking hands now! Oh my fucking gosh, yo. Oh my gosh, back to back. Oh, niggas is really trying to piss me the fuck off. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yo. Man, I'm not gonna lie. Anytime I hear about shit involve, involving children, that should really be... Like, that should really be frying me, son. Boy. And it, it's a step nigga. It's a step nigga, like... Oh my gosh, I don't know if the biological dad is in the life and it's just like a, you know what I'm saying, custody thing, again, but yo, man, I'm telling you, bro, and then, you know what I'm saying, the wife ain't at fault, I would hope not, no, I can't even blame, you can't blame her, how the fuck you blame her for somebody else's action, you don't get pushed to that, unless you want bullshit, like, oh man, alright. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up now! Stand up! Stand up. You, don't, you don't hear us, you fucking up. clown? Shut your bitch ass the fuck up and get the fuck now. Get your hand The fuck wrong with your stupid ass. Come on, 21. It's in the air. When officers arrived at the house, Dorman was sitting calmly by the door near the bodies of his dead children. Once the officers approached their suspect, they wrestled Wait. him to the ground and cuffed him. His children? Am I tripping? I thought I heard stepfather. I don't. If I'm missing shit, my bad. I don't, I don't know. Every, everything flying my circus tonight. Now I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I'm. My life. What are you doing, man? Hey, pretty all there. Can I roll over? I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. You got anything on you? No, I ain't got nothing, man. Phone, that's it. I ain't mad, I ain't, I ain't nothing. Just make sure that dog don't come out. I don't think he'll bite you. Just don't reach for him and try to grab him and pet him. He won't bite you. What's going on, man? Nothing. Uh, can I stand up? It's kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna get I ain't you gonna here do I ain't running away. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, this nigga's a crash out. I know he ain't gonna run either. He means everything he's saying right now. Dorman what tries is to this? reassure the, the officers of that he isn't trying to hurt anyone. He's sober, and there's nothing going on. All in front of his children's dead bodies and hysterical wife. Like he goes as far as to kindly inform the officers about his aggressive dog. Here, you the only one else inside the house. What? You the only one else inside yeah, the house? Yeah, yeah. Sit down right uh, here. My my daughter. She ran over to the fire department. Sit down. Uh, it's my stepdaughter. Put him in the cage. Can you get the wallet out of my back pocket? And shut up, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame him, but that was just funny. Some random. Mm, Dorman that's is currently facing fuck. 21 charges and- Niggas is not even trying to hear nothing you talking about, you fucking goofball. Like, mm, shut the fuck up, nigga. You, 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 exercise your right. Fucking clown. Damn goofy. Including nine counts of aggravated murder. On March 25th, 2024, like, he pleaded not guilty by reason counts. of insanity. His trial is set for July. In the case of Chad Dorman, when the officers arrived on scene, the damage had already been done. But what happens when the cops surprise the perpetrator the seconds before he act? If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. How old are you? Yep, talk to him. On him. February 19, yep. 2021, a Volusia County officer Love was dispatched to a local motel after receiving a call about a missing 13-year-old who was oh said to have been picked fucking. up by a man later identified Dude, I'm gonna lose my damn mind, and it's crazy because I'm just watching a video and I'm just hearing about shit. There's so much shit that just goes under the radar and goes untalked about, unknowing, un, un, just un. Like, man, oh my gosh, you 
anybody, anybody commit crimes involving children. You fucking clowns. Y'all can all die out. Respect, disrespectfully. Fuck is you talking about? Oh my gosh. If I, if I had to be the person to press a button at the hand of my life along with it, I'm hitting that bitch. No questions asked. No hesitation. If I could take down anybody that would even, even consider anything involving any fucking, like, man, oh my gosh, yo, y'all fucking poison, poison to the planet, fucking, oh my gosh, bro. I just Tyler Thompson. Once the officer arrived on the scene, he questioned the front desk about anyone who might have checked in earlier that day with a young girl. Basically, I'm missing a, um, like, niggas is letting that happen? Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? And, um possibly was picked up by a guy here. I, I'm kind of wanting to get an idea of who he is and I'm looking at today from school gets at around 315 ish so I'm thinking 3 to 330. And then is that like a super super recent picture though? She says she looks pretty much like this. And my, and Pretty close to her. With no sign of the girl at his first checkpoint, he continues to another nearby motel to check for her there. Hello. Um, hey, so my name is uh, Deputy James. I'm wondering if um, a juvenile and an, uh, another person checked in here earlier today. Have you seen that? Her? No, she would have been here with an unknown, probably male. With no luck here either, he continues to another motel. I'm looking for a juvenile that looks to be ran away from home today and we have information she may have checked in to a local hotel with an adult um this is what she looks like um any check-ins today once again the motel had no signs of the missing girl he continues his search at another motel and it was here you got a lead i'm investigating a um a runaway juvenile Okay. that supposedly checked into a local hotel okay. today with an adult, most likely. I don't know what he looks like or anything. Um, this is what she looks like. All right, someone checked in earlier when I was here. Let me check her. Oh, perfect. Okay. Do you have a name for that? Yeah. Her, well, her, she's only 13, so I, I don't know the person she's with. So it would have been whoever she's with. Yeah, she doesn't even have an ID. Again, only 13. <laughs> Uh, the, the person she's with? No clue. Well, this, this person that Oh, where's this guy? I think this is him. They said his name started with a T, possibly Tyler. After seeing a picture of a man that matched Thompson's description, the deputy goes down to the suspect's hotel room and knocks on the door. But instead of declaring himself as the police, he poses as a front office staff member to ensure the suspect doesn't expect anything of it. Front office, anybody inside? We need to come in for a second. Hey. Sheriff's office, back up. Have a seat on the couch. Where's... What's up, sweetheart? Sheriff's office. Get Pappy up here. Go in the bedroom and wait for me for a second. How old are you? How old are you? I don't, I don't know why the fuck I'm thinking he's talking to her. He has her age. Pussy, do you hear me fucking talking to you? Answer the fucking question before I tee this bitch the fuck up. Are you okay? Do you need any attention? Are you hurt at all? You're not hurt at all? Your stomach hurt? Once she realized she was safe, the young girl ran to the responding deputy and gave him a hug. And after making sure she was secure in the bedroom, the officer moved on to question a half-dressed Thompson who unwillingly admitted he was 22 years old. The girl in the room was only 13. How old are you? If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, talk to this nigga. Talk to this nigga. Oh, yeah, you, oh, up. Yeah, you no fucked up, clown. Yeah, and I go. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry, yeah, my oh, my gosh, yo. Oh my gosh, I cannot be one of these niggas. Yo, I would lose my fucking job. I'm telling you, yo. Oh my gosh. If 
two seconds. My body cam would be offline. Two seconds. Oh my gosh, yo. I want to Too old. Perfect response. Right, I'm on the way. Copy. Yeah, you better Thompson hurry up. sentenced to 40 years in prison, as well as 45 years of sex offender probation and 30 felony child sex crimes. He is currently serving his sentence in a Florida That's state him. prison. Catch you, killers. Yo, these videos really, like... Like, they piss me off. Like, they... Like, easily shift my day. Like, no matter what mood I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm in a bad mood, this would literally do it. Like, this would do it. If I'm in a good mood, it's like, man, I, I don't know how I'm going to bounce back on the, bounce, bounce back for the day, because, I don't know, bro, this is, oh, man. <sighs> Boy, um, no, I ain't got shit to say. This shit really, really teeing me to fuck up, so. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably hop on the game or some shit, shit, stream or some shit, cause, nah, I, I need some bobs right now. This shit's bad. Multiverses just came back. <laughs> I'm gonna get my mind off this video. Anyways, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description again, too. Shout out to Cats and Killers, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, y'all stay safe. Stay out of trouble. Leave kids the fuck alone if that's even in your fucking mind for some reason. And, uh, yeah, man. Um, take it easy. Good bup, 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 bup. Good bup.